So in this lecture we want to study or we will study turn off mechanism of GTO or the gate turn off SCR. Okay. GTO or the gate turn off SCR. Okay. So on state characteristics. Okay. On state characteristics means uh, VI characteristics of the GTO are same as that of a SCR. Okay. Means uh, in forward state it is a forward blocking state. Okay. And transition state is there and this is the turn on state similarly as the gate voltage reduces or the sorry increases the gate over voltage reduces and the we will get the this type of characteristics for scr this is the anode current this is the voltage between anode and cathode okay right and this is the gate voltage so the same characteristics are observed in the gate turn off SCM. Okay. So the characteristics are same as that of a normal SCR. Okay. So what is the difference between the gate turn off SCR and the normal SCR? So normal SCR, this is the normal SCR or the simple P1, N1, P2, N2. This is gate terminal. Of course, this is a cathode terminal and this is anode terminal so in the in this scr or the normal scr as you will you will require a positive pulse to the gate to turn on okay to turn on you require a positive pulse here okay and once it gets turned on there is a no effect of gate current or gate voltage on a conducting scr Okay, means if you provide a negative pulse here for turn off, it will not work. Which one? That is the common SCR. It is not possible uh, to turn off with gate pulse. Not possible. Okay. In this, the turn off mechanism of GTO, that means gate turn off SCR. Means we can turn off it with a negative pulse okay by providing a negative pulse to the gate okay so that's why it is known as the gate turn off yes so what is that mechanism okay so as the structure is uh, here you can see that the uh, n or the this is the cathode cathode has a small region gate has a more region okay so that's why gate can control the current moving from this side according to the structure and according to the two transistor analogy okay if gate is provided this is the of course this is the base okay ib this is ie okay and this is also ie okay this is ic so as when you provide a negative pulse or the negative voltage due to this the current or the this base current is reduced okay and that's why this emitter current also get reduces okay as sorry uh, this is not a poster okay this is the collector okay and as the IB or the base current reduces, the collector current also reduces. Okay. So this is a flow. To get, okay, it results into the start here. negative pulse to the gate. It reduces the base current. Okay, this is a suppose IB one. This is IB two. Okay, it reduces the IV2. So that's why IC2 reduces. IC2 decreases or reduces. As IC2 decreases, IB1 decreases. IB1 decreases. As IB1 decreases, IC1 decreases. As IC1 decreases, again what? IB2 decreases. Okay. 
as IB2 decreases, again IC2 decreases, and again, and this process becomes cumulative. That means cumulative means uh, increasing. Okay, one by one it is go, goes on increasing, and that's why the current gets reduced. Uh, and uh, at a certain level, you get the zero current here, or the cathode anode current will be the zero, and at that time the GTO or the GTO SCR will be get turned off. Okay, so simple. What is the mechanism? When you provide a negative pulse here, right, the IB2 decreases, as IB2 decreases, IC2 decreases, as IC2 decreases, IB1 decreases, as IB1 decreases, IC1 one. decreases, as IC1 is connected to the IB2, that's why IB2 also decreases, IB2 decreases and again the same process is repeated till the S SCR gets turned off, okay, so this is the mechanism to turn off the GTO. Okay, remember that you cannot stop a normal SCR with by providing a gate pulse, negative gate pulse. It is not possible to turn off it. Okay, but by providing a negative pulse to the gate turn off SCR, you can turn off the GTO SCR. Okay, so this is the process how the gate turn off SCR is turned off by providing negative pulse to the gate.